Hey, what is going on, everybody? Welcome back to my channel, Redline Must, and tuning back in. So, this guy's, I know him for over two or three years now. So, he got saved from a minor accident. So, this diffuser comes out a little bit. So, he's kind of pushed the diffuser in instead of actually messing up the whole bumper. So, we're going to remove that one. Uh, I'll show you guys how to install this one because you guys are having a problem on how to actually close that gap and whatnot. Things are coming down. So, I'm going to show you that spot real quick. This is it. This is also on my website that you could get. He's got the pro white aprons. You got Sonic uh, gray, you got the red, you got the blue, you got the white, you got the gloss black. Quality is amazing, perfect fitment. Check it out. This is what you'll get. I also offer this with the, the clear option. It's optional, like you, you will get it. You can choose it at checkout. So you, you get uh, the clear one as well if your taillights are clear and whatnot. So you'll get a white one as well. And it's got, you'll have the option for strobe effect or, or a solid effect and comes with its own um, harness. So you just wanna make sure you use that instead of the one that's gonna be with the, the red one, okay? Um, we got, we got the tape, good quality tape one, not the cheap stuff, and the hardware, and you'll get these as well. It is a promoter inside this and this tape for that, uh, that light. And we'll get this on and uh I'll show you guys real quick so getting the connector up there literally just use a magnetic tool or uh anything that's that would work best in your scenario hangers if you got one of those metal hangers plastic literally just feed right from here there's a spot right here if you come up here see if you look down from this corner you'll see a you'll see the the driveway or the, the cement the road whatever tile you name it it's going to be there so that's how i usually grab this tape it up so it'll go back down and then i can work on the diffuser so as far as the diffuser i'd like to push this in a little bit on top because this is how it's going to go under so i'm just going to flex it in now line up the tabs basically the tabs right here line those up once you land the middle, I suggest you make sure you do one at a time. Tabs are in, so you don't have to worry about the seams being gapped up and whatnot, because that's where you guys have an issue in. Okay, that's in. Close the gap on this side. So you do the same thing on the other side. So the bottom. Just make sure the wire for the light is it's there and it goes under under here or above it and this literally just does that and you put in the tap in push tabs for them. You can also add a screw or whatnot if you like to on the side for extra safety. Alright, so this this side this seam right here usually goes inside this white spot this you want to go at an angle like this so it goes in first and make sure you keep that down because you have metal piece which you can put in the end as well but it's a little bit tough to put at the end so make sure you keep it down so you don't scratch your uh, bumper and what else is it right here once it's flushed in i'm going to make sure that's up just like that it's in make sure the clips are in and i also focus on this metal piece as well so i don't scratch the bumper and everything looks good clicks in there you go and now what you want to do is make that make that uh, side tight and everything will lock in place and then we'll do just make that side tight look at that gap close the gap we're good to go and we'll just make that tight and then we'll hold it just like that all right that's looking good Brand new, gloss black, looking great. Now what we gotta do is put the, the tape on this. Make sure you guys use an adhesive promoter on both sides, meaning adhesive promoter on this side, wherever you're gonna put tape on. Usually I just do a long strip and a little strip right here. And uh, yeah, just one long strip and one here because uh, we gotta put one screw there so it holds it in place. And make sure you guys use the adhesive promoter on this side as well, wherever the tape is gonna be touching. And uh, we'll just heat it up a little bit and then put tape on and slap it on there a little bit. Um, I'll show you guys 
how do I actually do this part installation? Because I know a lot of people do it like crooked or just does not align well. All right, so I peeled off a little bit of this side and this this part too. This one you keep it on and you obviously gonna peel off as you go. And I'll show you guys why I do it from here. It's because when you guys um, make sure it fits well, just like that, and everything lines up perfect. So there's no issues. So what you would do is literally, there you go. So just press and hold it here for at least a minute if you can, if possible, whatnot. Just gotta remove that dirt off because I had the adhesive promoter and whatnot. But it sticks really well when you do the adhesive promoter and then, uh, then apply the tape. And just like that, look at this. Everything is lined up, guys. This is technique that you guys should learn because every, every time you do an installation for like a front lip, a spoiler and whatnot, this is how you should do it. And it's gonna be a little dirty, but we'll clean it up. Just like that, man. Make sure you guys smash the like button for that. So now it's on perfect, straight, and flush, and no issues. Press in this area a little bit too. We'll do a cleanup at the end once it's done. Hands are dirty. But we'll just heat it up a little bit more just for like 10 15 seconds, just like that, and then kind of press it in a little bit, and it should stick. Well, and then just put one screw on this side and uh, you should be good to go. So do the same thing on the opposite side. And now, once this is done, we can actually put in that bottom piece for the diffuser and put uh, three screws, small screws in there. And that should do it. Check it out, it's done. Perfect fitment, flushed. Shows you guys how it's done. Look at that. Just gotta wipe it down a little bit. And you guys could grab it, link in the description. And also tagged in the video. So make sure you guys follow my IG at Redline Mods Official. That's it.